Hey guys, uh, welcome to my second vlog. I already have a co-host. Okay, so, oh, I forgot my shirt. It's okay. <laughs> Blooper. So tonight we're gonna do um, a new kind of vlog that I figured I'd start for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm usually based in LA. Sometimes I'm in Hawaii a lot, but mostly I'm in LA. I figured I would do like a series of like fun activities for people who are visiting LA or people from LA who just like want to try something new, who like get tired of doing the same stuff. We do the same stuff a lot when we're in LA. Um, we go to like the same bars and we like hang out with the same people. We eat the same food. Right, we, the same, we have like favorite restaurants that we go to all the time and order the same food all the time. Which Can't help it. Most of it's good. Right? And, yeah. And then you like go to the restaurant, you don't want to try something new because you know you love what you <laughs> order. I want the usual. Right? So I'm going to do this like series of like night out or days out or LA activities or shenanigans. I, yeah. I don't really know what I'm going to call it yet. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think I should call this like segment or series of uh, YouTube videos. Well, today we're going to go to Pancakes and Booze. They travel around the US and they do these really dope underground art shows. I have a friend doing the show tonight. His name is David Diaz. His Instagram is Diaz427. Yes. I should know this by heart and I don't. He's her best friend. But yeah, he's my best friend. But yeah, you guys should follow him. <laughs> he is a photographer, phenomenal photographer. He's worked with Forbes and several under other really great publications. And um, he's also a really talented painter. So if you guys are interested, check out Pancakes and Booze website. Um, they have like vendors and art, live painting. Free pancakes? Free pancakes with like the craziest pancake line you've ever seen. Not free booze. No, they advertise it, free pancakes and booze, but it's really free pancakes and booze. Yeah, they're separate. So we're pre-gaming, cheers, right? Uh, ways to save money while you're traveling, drink uh, before you go. Always, always, always. Um, I say um a lot, like a lot. It's okay. I know, I always have to cut it out. If you're out and about in LA and you want to try something new, um, definitely look them up. I will be vlogging the rest of our night. We're gonna have a blast. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Pancakes and booze, right? Yes. Ever, ever. Ever.
back from pancakes and boo I had a really great time my cousin came out a bunch of my girlfriends went out we went to see a friend of ours David Diaz some of his friends who are also local artists came out and it was just a really good time there was dancing obviously free pancakes not free booze so we talked about they did have tons of bars the lines weren't too bad at all they did have a $25 credit card limit which is kind of steep for a local underground art show. If you talk to the people playing, paying with credit cards and you offer to give them cash, sometimes they'll put your drinks on the card for you. That's what I did. I just went up to people who were clearly talking to the bartender about not having enough money, or not having enough drinks, I should say, um, to complete their tab on a credit card, and then I just offered to give them the cash. Yeah, but it's a good way to not to get around having to pay $25 um, if one of your friends has a card, or you have a card, or you just want to be a nice person and like help someone else out who has a card. We are in LA, I believe, twice a year. They also are all over the United States. If you're visiting and you want to go check out a local art show, I definitely, definitely recommend it. I bought my tickets online at brownpaperbag.com, I believe. Um, the link is always on Pancakes and Booze website or their Facebook. You do what I did, I paid $10 ahead of time to skip the initial line to get in. Um, if you want to wait in line, you don't mind waiting in line, it's only $5 at the door usually. But the line does get crazy, especially as it gets later. It's a Friday, Saturday. Uh, it's only here a couple times a year. Everyone wants to come out and see everything. It doesn't include the pancake line. As you guys saw in the video, um, that line is crazy bananas too. Like. Bananas. I didn't even eat a pancake last night. My girlfriends and I went and had sushi first at Sushi Stop. That's also a really great place to go if you're in LA. They have really good food, like really good sushi. And every single thing, I kid you not, in the entire place is $2.95. Sorry, I should take that back. Some things are $4, including like sake, uh, wine, some of the higher end like rolls. Overall, uh, three of us ate. We had sake, we had sushi. I think our total bill was $36.95 for three people. So that's a really good, and it's a nice place. It's a nice place to go have dinner in LA. You can find that in Franklin Village in Hollywood, California. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe below. I totally forgot to say that on my last video, which is like, I would like feel like I broke rule number one of like vlogging, but whatever. I hope you guys subscribed anyways because you enjoyed my video. Again, leave any kind of comments or questions, something else you want to see me vlog. My finger got stuck in my necklace. Oh, yeah, side note. I wrote it in the description of my last video. I changed the name of my website, which is still under construction. Making a website is really hard. No one ever told me that. All the coding and like, my brain is gonna explode. And I'm not a tech savvy person at all. So I've been watching 
I've been watching YouTube tutorials and reading forums and online, whatever. It's a lot. So I left a side note on the last video, pretty much telling you guys that I changed the name of my website. Gypsy Bag of Wonder Mad is just kind of a mouthful, and every time I would talk to people about it, and they'd be like, oh, what's the name of your new website? And then I would tell them, and they'd be like, oh, like you could tell just like, poof, and so that's a problem. You don't ever want your site to just get disregarded because the name is overwhelming. Now my website is called ohellogypsy.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as Oh Hello Gypsy, Instagram Oh Hello Gypsy. Yeah, that's just how you guys can find me now. It's easier, easier to remember, easier to, to tell people about, or easier to find. It's all just one thing. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about Pancakes and Booze, um, their locations, oh, their upcoming shows. Let me look on my phone. I got, oh, I got a new phone. I needed one. I had, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of me with this old, like iPhone color and like my phone quality was horrible, my pictures were horrible, my video was horrible, everything was horrible, my girlfriends laughed at me all the time. So they have again a show in LA on May 7th, which is tonight. So you probably missed that show because I'm posting a video right now and this one probably won't be up until tomorrow. Uh, but they're in San Diego on May 21st. They are in Austin, um, they're going to be in Washington, they're going to be in Kansas City on August 12th, uh, in Houston on August 5th, well the Washington show is on the 4th of August, I totally skipped that, and New York City on the 28th and it goes so on and so on, you guys can find them on Facebook as you, no, it's blurry, it's blurry, okay well you can find them on Facebook and get more information. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a good one.